So one of the things to consider when you do purchase your electric vehicle is the whole charging aspect. And I gotta be honest, it was super confusing and it's still kind of confusing uh, to me. When I first got my Tesla, you know, I had to decide, you know, am I gonna get one of these level two chargers in my house? And I'll tell you what happened. I'll get back to that in a second. But talking about level two, there's basically three levels, level one, two, and three. A level one charge is basically your 110 outlet that you have in your home already. The next level up is level two, and it would use a 240 volt uh, outlet. So that's kind of the same thing you'd have with your dryer and your stove. And essentially, if you wanna use level two, you'd have to have a level two charger installed into your garage or wherever you're gonna be putting that and charging your, your vehicle. And level three would be the next level up. That's 480 volts. And you're not gonna get that installed in your house. Those are typically the ones you're gonna find at the fast charger roadside stations that are uh, you know, being basically built all over the place. The level three, obviously fantastic because in, in most cases they can charge uh, an EV you know, up to 80% of its charge within 30 minutes. Uh, Tesla, even faster. So let's talk about all the different types of charging port standards uh, as well. Unfortunately, my Tesla, uh, they've decided here in North America to go with their own proprietary standard. So this is what the Tesla one looks like. And again, this will only work on Tesla vehicles. I don't have the, uh, the Tesla charging cable that came with my Tesla because someone stole it out of my garage. So I had to purchase a, a third party model because it was uh, dramatically cheaper, like half the price of the Tesla one. So this one is, uh, I think, Simply Work or Simply Works. I got this off of Amazon for 200 bucks, which saved me a good uh, chunk of coin there. Uh, so this here is what's called a J1772 adapter. This will work in every electric vehicle in North America, whether that's a Nissan, a Volkswagen, whatever. Uh, to make it work in the Tesla, thankfully, Tesla does include this adapter uh, that will allow you to put it on this cable here and charge it up. So the thing is with the J1772, if you go to any level two charger here in North America, they will have this type of uh, plug-in uh, for your vehicle. So make sure that you do take the adapter with you if you do have a uh, Tesla. So the Confusing part then comes to the superchargers that are uh, out in the world. Tesla's kind of cool because they've been building up their Tesla supercharger network for a number of years now. And I gotta say, it's fantastic. It's level three, but it's almost like beyond level three. I can get a full charge uh, or up to 80%, uh, you know, within about 25, 30 minutes and a full charge within 45 minutes. It is like a, a fire hose of electric charge going into your uh, your vehicle, uh, which is a nice thing. I unfortunately cannot use a lot of the other DC fast chargers that are out in uh, the roadside charging stations. They've got two types of standards out there, and most of these fast charging stations have both. Chatamo, which is kind of a Japanese standard, which I'm finding is kind of phasing out. And then there's the CCS combo. And again, pretty well, most of the uh, electric vehicles other than Tesla's will have either one of those uh, you know, typical uh, charging ports on, on their vehicles. Uh, so again, it might look like you can plug uh, this into one of those CCS combo ones, but uh, if you've got a Tesla, I'm just telling you, it doesn't work. You have to go to a Tesla supercharging station. So how fast is it on level one and two? That is the million dollar question. And it's something I had to make a decision with in my home. I found very quickly, unfortunately, my circuit breaker panel, completely full. I had an electrician come in and he basically told me $5,000 to get the electric company to run another line to my breaker box in my utility room. So I had to think, $5,000, <laughs> is that worth it? Heck no. So uh, I just decided to use the 110 volt in my garage. And it worked out quite well for me. I found on average, I could get 10 kilometers of an hour of charge into my Tesla. So for example, over 10 hours overnight, that's hundred kilometers. So my daily drive back and forth uh, to my office downtown is roughly hundred kilometers every day. So for the most part, I have found that just charging at home on a regular level one, 110 volt outlet, works fine for me.
Depending on your vehicle and battery capacity, charging times can vary quite a bit. Most vehicles will charge up to 80% really quickly and then slow down to help with the heat dissipation of the battery. For a level two charger, you're gonna to have to have a 240 volt adapter wherever your car is near, typically uh, in the uh, garage. If you install one of those, you're typically gonna to have to put it on a 30 or 40 amp breaker on your breaker box in your laundry room or wherever that is. But keep in mind, it's only gonna be able to get 80% of that. So typically the electrician would recommend that you do go up to a 40 amp so that you can get at least 30, 32 amps going into the car. So how much does that uh, give you over an hour? Roughly 30 kilometers an hour. So for example, if you're doing it over 10 hours, 30 times 10 is 300 kilometers. So that is dramatically faster than a regular 110 volt. For my purposes, I have found the 110 volt is good enough. In those rare occasions where it hasn't been, maybe, you know, I drove to work that day and then drove around at night uh, to some various places. Uh, I have found it's easy to find like a third party roadside charger. They're pretty well everywhere now. Downtown where I work, uh, I mean, you can throw a rock and, and hit one. Uh, out here in the suburbs, uh, they actually have quite a few. A lot of times the, the city will install them like at the public library or the recreation center. Uh, and in many cases they're free which is uh, even better. So again, level one, two, and three. Level one is just your standard 110 volt. Level two would be the 240 uh, outlet that typically you'd have on your dryer or your oven. And level three, those are reserved for the, uh, the fast charging stations out at roadsides.